Imagine a sci-fi space battle. It's pretty easy to picture the ships screaming through empty space shooting lasers at each other. Now consider a scientifically accurate space battle. Not so easy, not just because there's never been an actual battle in space, but because no TV show or movie has really taken the time to get it right. And I'm not faulting pop culture here, I know that sometimes science has to take a backseat to the story, I'm just here to say that a real space battle would look a bit different. Half a century of the most loved space-based pop culture has ingrained in our subconscious what space battles look like. Quick moves, laser blasts, cool looking ships, instant communication, and so on. But an accurately portrayed space battle would have none of this. So what would it have? Let's start with the ships themselves. If you draw it poorly, Disney can't sue, I think. Now, unless you are a spaceship that enters an atmosphere regularly, there is no reason for you to have wings. Wings provide lift when they encounter air, and so if you spend most of your time in space, as it looks like most spaceships in pop culture do, then in reality, a spaceship would look more like a box with guns. All range mode. No, Fox, I just said it doesn't matter in space. <sighs> this is why Slippy died. Speaking of talking to annoying crew members, depending on the size and the location of the space battle, communication would be complicated. Let's say that a space battle breaks out around Jupiter, and pilots from Earth are trying to get strategy from Earth Command about how to deal with the incoming alien armada. If we wanted to give our pilots there strategy, there would be at least a 33 minute delay, or 1961 seconds, because our signals can only travel at the speed of light, and Jupiter is 600 million kilometers away. A real space battle would have to take this time delay into account, and instantaneous communication like you see in movies and TV shows would be impossible. This is where the fun begins. Fun begins where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. <sighs> Speaking of talking to people who make sounds, a real space battle would be silent. I know you've all heard in space no one can hear you scream, but this applies to explosions too. In space, there is no air to carry pressure waves, which is what sound is. So even the Death Star blowing up would sound like this. And that's it. Unless some debris rattled your ship, a space battle would sound like Nothing. <laughs> For a real space battle, even the interior of the spaceships would have to change. Beep boop. Beep boop. I'm not doing that just for fun. This is how a starfighter's controls would really look. If you're in a space battle, you're going to be accelerating, and your weight depends on your mass and how much you are accelerating. So if you are pulling high G maneuvers in a space battle, your weight will literally change. Now imagine having a throttle like they do in Star Trek and operating it when your hand and your fingers become three or four or five or 10 times as heavy. Nah, you can't do that precisely. That's why a real Starfighter's controls would allow for movement just of the fingertips to work. Beep boop, just the fingertips, pop boop. And while you're beeping and booping, your crew around you won't be sitting in the Starfighter like you may assume. Most spaceships that you've seen have their thrusters at the back, like this, right? Well, the only way to give yourself gravity on a ship, aside from spinning, is to use this thrust and accelerate in the opposite direction that you want to feel your weight acting. This is where the fun begins. Uh... So if a spaceship like this accelerated in this direction most of the time, the floors and the people on those floors would have to be oriented perpendicular to the acceleration to feel their weight and operate normally as if they were under gravity and not be oriented parallel to the acceleration like you've always seen. And then there's the battle itself. A real space battle wouldn't look like an aerial dogfight. It would look more like asteroids. In space, because there's no air for either pressure waves or screams, bombs wouldn't be nearly as effective, but projectiles would. Because there's no air resistance in space, if you apply any amount of force 
to some mass, that projectile will continue off in a straight line at some constant velocity forever until it hits something. Ah, why did I let him keep doing this? No! Guns and rail guns and not torpedoes and bombs would be a real starfighter's armaments, but the science doesn't stop there. Because everything with mass and velocity has momentum, and momentum is conserved, if you fire mass away from you in the form of weaponry, it can speed you up or slow you down. So in a real space battle, you wouldn't always see spaceships only firing directly forwards in the direction that they are trying to accelerate in because that would rob them of velocity due to the conservation of momentum. More likely, you would see ships firing not along this acceleration vector because if they lose velocity, that means they have to use precious fuel. But the biggest thing you would notice about a real space battle is how the ships moved. In space, there's no air to slow you down. So if you accelerated in one direction, you would continue on at some constant velocity in a straight line forever. Unless you applied some deceleration to your craft, you would whiz past your target or smash into a space station. You would have to spend just as much time slowing down as speeding up. This is why, unless their designs changed, a sci-fi ship like the X-Wing would be doing a lot of that, which we can all agree looks ridiculous. So if every space battle you've seen is wrong, what would be right? Well, you'd see box-shaped ships firing projectiles silently in directions that wouldn't rob them of velocity according to directions they got on a time delay from some command in a way that they could input onto touch base screens. If you see any of that in a movie or video game or TV show and you're a nerd like me, you know that this, this is where the fun begins. Because science. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at SciFi where you can suggest ideas for future episodes and on Facebook where I have posted a very special edition of this episode today on Nerdist's Facebook page. If you're a fan of hard sci-fi, I think you're gonna like it. Go check it out. And on Instagram under the same name where I'm not posting many episodes, bye. When you're on Earth, if you're in a, like a dogfight in an airplane, it makes sense that you'd be facing each other like this in the air because there's a common reference point of where down is. But if you're in space for a space battle, there's no down. Technically, every direction could be down. So why is every spaceship when they meet in a battle like this, like in Star Trek, they always meet like this? In reality, if they're supplying their own gravity somehow, they should be able to meet like, like this and it, and it wouldn't matter, but they don't. Maybe because it makes it look weird when you try to gesture it. <laughs>